Let's see. Wrong answer. Fantastic. At least we also do struggle together. So this does not work. Cool. Does that work in C++? I don't even know. Is the ith digit in the integer? I really don't understand what I'm reading right now. Oh, Jesus. For a fucking easy exercise. I hate it so much. Let's go. Holy shit, dude. I'm so disappointed right there. Hello everyone, I am a C++ beginner and I want to learn a little bit more about it. And what better way to do that than lead code? So today, I'm gonna resolve a problem on camera. It's gonna be easy, because I respect my time and yours, and it's gonna be in C++, because I hate my life. So, without further ado, let's ruin my public developer image in front of a camera. So let's get going. You are given a large integer represented as an integer array digit, where e digits i is the ith digit in the integer. I really don't understand what I'm reading right now. The digits are ordered from most significant to least significant in left to right order. The large integer does not contain any leading zeros, okay? Increment the large integer by one and return the resulting array of digits. Okay. Oh, well that, that, that looks easy enough. Like the thing we could do is change this array of ints from an array of strings, an array of characters, actually add all of these characters to create a string intify the string at plus one and do the opposite this will not be the most optimized but it will work with everything all right so we're gonna start with the google research obviously uh, i want to try to find how to change an int to a character as simple as that thank you so let's create a string we do a for loop that navigates the digits boom I forgot to give a name to my string obviously oh this is how you append okay the gods my god okay let's zoom in also a little bit all right and now i should have that in an array let's just double check Let's run it. Append. Huh. Oh. <laughs> okay, I was reading the question, not the answer. Jesus Christ. Okay. Obviously, we do have an error. Oh, yes, this returns a vector. All right. I'm just going to return digits for now. Okay. ST out. We have this thing that does not work. Fantastic. Uh, what if I just do this so that I see what's going on? I don't want to display this, actually. Okay. Great. But I want those as characters. And apparently, that didn't work. Hmm. What about you? Okay, still no. Go for yourself. I wasn't looking into C++. Oh, my God, uh, to string. Okay, should be should be this easy, right? Okay. Okay, great. If I do this and that, thank you. So we have this string. Now, I want to transform this string into an int. Int is my new value. Should be as easy as that. My string and I pass it as here. Does this throw back an error? Yes, it does. Oh my God, in C++, Jesus Christ. S-T-O-I, as easy as that, really. <laughs> Now works. Fantastic. And now, oh, I guess I have to repass it into a string and then re go through the board. Okay, this is going to be the less optimized code ever, but uh, at least it's going to work. So we have a new string. It's going to be my value plus one. Let's double check that this works. Okay. And now I guess we just do another loop because we love them. We take the new string of the size. We do that. We create a new vector that is of int. We're going to call output vec, which is for the moment empty. And uh, output vec dot pushback. We take this new string at i, but we need to intify this using this up there. And we return the new output. And we can get rid of that. There is for sure going to be an error, but you know, we'll see. Yes, obviously there is an issue right there. No matching function called this TRY. There is one right there. Ugh. We are 13 minutes in. We might be only doing one single exercise, but hey, that's all right. At least we also do struggle together. So just this. I just want to see this, right? What can you do? Okay, that's true. And what about that then? Because it's a character. Okay. Okay. And now we can catenate like this. Oh my God. Simple as that. What? So since this is ASCII code, you need to do minus 48. And this explains why I have these things. And you tell me this works right there? Minus 48? Really? <laughs> okay. So you tell me I can do this and that and that over here. And that should work? Oh my God. Out of range. Where? STD out of range. Why? Um, uh, because you are supposed to be a long, I assume. No? Oh God. So this does not work. Let me just see. I just want to see you, right? What do you do when I see that? Okay. So I do see it. <sighs> Uh, oh yeah, because it's not to an int, it's to a long. So d do you exist? Oh my god, out of range on a long, jeez. A long, 32, 64. So I need a long, long, is what you're saying? Okay, long, long. Let's, let's see. Long, long? What? S-T-O-L-L. -L. Do, do, do you exist? You string to long, long. No, you don't. So this is interesting. It doesn't want to do that. So size t is the next thing. Meaning that I need something that goes from int to size t. We were getting there. We we're getting there. No, come <laughs> String to size t. Convert a string into a size t. Yes, I could use ChatGPT, but it goes against the learning journey, right? And me losing my mind on camera. We need to use a stream to cast it into the result. Okay, okay, let's see. So you are not the new thing I'm looking for. This is what I want to do. Okay, so the string is supposed to be you. Then I have the result. The result is cast into the stream. Okay, result is the thing I called value. And we see what it does. Oh, Jesus. Why? So I reckon value doesn't exist here. Take your time. It's okay. 23 minutes for a fucking easy exercise. I hate 
learned so much. Maybe I'm just not made to be a programmer, eh? So this does not work. Cool. I, I don't understand what's going on right now. So all of these work, apart from you, I assume. So I'm running out of space. So size T is not the biggest one. I have no idea what's going on. I have no idea. I'm so lost right now. Maybe this was not the best starter to begin with. They have this input for that particular reason. Can I just see out this? Just to see. Yeah, that works. Or I assume the shit show to do is actually to do an inverse for loop. And if this is a nine, then you also do plus one on the thing above and so on and so forth. God dang it. Okay, we're back. After a little break and reconsideration of my career, we will do this the way it was always intended to. So, we are going to do it like this. We are going to run through all of these digits, but starting from the back. So we take the size of the digits minus one. This would be our last index. I always want i to be superior to zero. No, it can be zero. So superior or equal to zero. Does that work in C++? I don't even know. And i minus minus. So on paper, this should display everything in the opposite direction. I, boom. Okay, there you go. So now what do we do? If this is a nine, this is what we're going to do. This is going to become a zero. Okay. And we just let that for loop continue. If it's not the case, we're just going to do this plus equals one and return the digits right away. Does that make sense? I don't know, but let's see. Wrong answer. Fantastic. Uh, what can happen? Yeah, true. If we go back all the way up and this is a nine, this will just transform into a zero and we will be out. So the only only thing we should do, uh, yeah, oh, yeah, we should do that. And if i is equal to zero, yeah, because it will be the index of i, that makes sense. Then we add a one at the far left. This is not pushback, it's something else I forgot. At item at beginning vector in C++. Insert, digits.insert, yeah, as easy as that. God dang it. Oh, you say where and you implement the value. Okay, this, un this doesn't do it automatically. So boom, boom, yeah, and not two please uh no yeah maybe dang it oh it's a long day please this is the one let's go holy shit dude i'm so disappointed right there oh my god this should have been so easy dude so easy my goodness oh this is gonna kill me for sure. I don't know how long it took us, but like, this just goes to show how much you can go in one direction and be so sure of yourself. And all of a sudden realize that, oh, actually, there was something way easier to do it in just a couple of lines of code. Oh my God, dude, this is fucked. Anyways, at least we did it. Jesus.